Uh, obviously, we got our, our, our butts kicked again. Um, I, 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 actually, I think our whole staff, we all felt pretty good going into it. Uh, you know, they're a good team. They've been playing well, even without Manick. They have some veteran guards that uh, play together well and, and make plays. Uh, I, I like how Harmon has is, is really grown and, and developed. Their big kid uh, is, you know, was a big difference maker in the game today. And a year ago, he, you know, he, he was not a factor at all. Um, and, you know, you could – we just it's the same same scenario every game you know we're in the we're in the game we're, we make a, a nice run we're up 22 17 and then right before the half we just we do not make the right plays uh we don't make plays we you know just uh even at the end days one has a layup he blocks it they get the ball and they get it dunked uh, you know so if we score somehow get that layup to go, you know, they don't get that fast break and now it's 30 to 26, but they, uh, you know, I thought we pushed it a little bit in the second half and, and then uh, the same thing happens. They obviously the turnovers were a big, big played a big factor. You have 20 turnovers, uh, which led to uh, 20, 20 points. Uh, their transition, we really struggled getting back. Uh, you know, some of that from the turnover, some of that probably some some tough shots, uh, you know, 23 points, fast break points. And, you know, those are – obviously those are the difference in the game. So it was great to get Casey back in there, but you could tell uh, his conditioning, his explosion is still – you know, once he got going, he hasn't played a game in seven weeks. It takes a while. Um, you know, Luke was a little better today than he was the game before. Uh, you know, it was good to see him get a shot down. Uh, but he's, you know, again, his conditioning, him being in the right spots, you know, they, they, without practice is, is really hard. I thought Antonio gave us a good effort. Uh, he was very, very active, uh, you know, six, six points, 11 rebounds. Uh, we got offensive rebounds, 15, but we just, we didn't, we didn't really finish those plays. We only had 10 off of that. So, uh, you know, just, you just got to keep their spirit up. Obviously, it hurts without Nigel. Puts a lot of pressure on those other guards uh, to to make plays. And uh, you know, I, I you know, even especially Mike McGurl, I think he the pressure is really taking a toll on him. Uh, you know, we all know we've seen he's a better player than that. And and it you know we probably won't. I would doubt if we have Nigel back on on Saturday. But, um, you know, as we head into that last stretch of the season, obviously it'll help us to get him back, ease the pressure on some of those other guards, and hopefully we can make a little bit of strides here on the stretch. Okay, Coach, thanks for the comments. Let's we'll start questions with Kellis Robinette. Uh, so, so I guess other than getting Nigel back, what's it going to take to close the gap on some of these teams and be a little more competitive, do you think? Um, you know, just, you know, we get to that nut, nut check part or whatever you want to call it, nut check part of the game and where you got to, you got to stand up and get a stop. You got to take care of the basketball. You got to get, a, you got to execute to keep yourself in the game. Um, you know, that's, that's going to be the big thing. And, uh, you know, we'll, it, it, we know we got a physical contest against a very, very good team, West Virginia. I know. I'm not sure how much practice they've had, but we know their teams are going to come and battle, and we're going to have to we're going to have to stand up and be men and and deal with their physicality on on, on Saturday. You've mentioned over the course of the week, you know, keeping these guys' spirits up, keeping them positive is a big thing. How much of a challenge is that for you as a coach right now? Well, it, you know, it's it's hard. I mean, you know, in the game, you're you're trying to do things, trying to get them to execute, guys. A lot of times we have guys, you know, they haven't played together. They haven't played a lot of minutes. They don't know what's going on sometimes. And it, it's it's frustrating. But all I can do is try to help them come back. They've been great. Uh, the, you know, I, I, we've had good practices. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I thought we pushed them. Again, 16, 17 minutes. I, what was our, our biggest lead was five at, at that six-minute mark. And then, you know, those, those moments in the game, we got to find – we got to be able to uh, find a way to overcome that. So it, it's uh, and that some of it's experience, some of it 
getting everybody back and knowing what we're looking for and executing at the right time. All right, thanks, Bruce. Travel safe. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Hey, Bruce, is it an easier conversation to be had with a senior like Mike McGurl to get him to understand he's trying to do too much right now? Uh, we've talked to him for three, you know, for the last couple of weeks. And, and I, I, ironically, I talked to Nigel this afternoon because we left him home because he had to get some workouts and get some tests in. But I just said, you know, not, Mike misses you because he's he's just – you know he's wanting to, he wants to do well. He's a great kid. He's worked his tail off, and and he just when he just puts too much pressure on himself and tries to you know make the tough play, tough shots, and he keep and we've talked about it. We it was our big conversation the last two days about you know be, take a deep breath, relax, don't try to make the this, the home run play. And this is not just him. I mean we have other guys that do it too. And uh, we got to somehow get through that that panic state in the game, where we where we it's more have a good taste, execute, and uh, you know hope, hopefully we can figure that out sooner than later. And how would you describe Kirk Quath and his uh, being a rim defender and a difference maker tonight? Well, it, you know our guys didn't adjust. You know he blocked five shots. He he hit his little little jump shots. Um, but, you know, even then, after he blocked shots, we went in there several times, and then we tried to make, you know, tough passes. So you got you got to go. We've talked all along. You, you, It's not high school anymore. You have to jump stop. You have to make play off of two feet. And, um, you know, we we got to get better at that. It, you know, guys think they got an angle, and then all of a sudden you got a, a rim pack protector like that. And that, that was a big difference maker. You look at his plus minus, he's plus 27 in the game. And uh, that, that was huge for them. And as soon as you guys are, are facing some adversity, do you feel like you're losing focus and the effort kind of goes with it? Uh, I'm sure it got to a point. Some of it conditioning with some guys in there. Some of it, you know, just you get in the, you know, you they start making a run. Uh, you know, you, it's it's that tough part of the game, you know, and, you know, and, and still, they, I don't think they've ever quit. Uh, they haven't been perfect by any means, but they haven't quit and they've battled and, and I'm, I'm sure they'll come back and battle on Saturday. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach, uh, what, what's going on on the defensive end right now for you guys? Well, I think if you look at it, it I thought our half-court defense probably wasn't that bad. But when you give up 23 fast break points, you give up uh, 20 points off of turnovers, um, those are hard. That's not your half-court defense. So, uh, you know, it, it uh, you know, and they're good players. They, they, they just got 82 on uh, the other night on TCU. And, uh, you know, they, they, they have played well. They play good basketball. They, they play off each other. They shared a basketball. The other guy that was probably a big key in the game was Harkness. You, you look at him, 13 rebounds, six assists, three steals, plus 31 on the on the plus minus. So those that kind of glue guy, the older guy that um, that makes a, a big difference. That's you know that, that that was huge for them. They didn't even play Victor very much. They just went small, put us in some binds, and uh, made it made it tough on us. And I apologize if you discussed this earlier, but uh, how would you evaluate Casey and his return? Um, you know, I, you know, it's just again seven weeks without playing in a game. Uh, you know, a handful of practices. Um, it's totally different. It's one thing to condition. It's another thing to practice. It's another thing to play in games. And now, when you haven't had that, um, you know, it took. Well, it, it's going to take a little. I think. I hope next time it'll it'll be a little better. I talked about Luke. First game the other night, you know, just it's just getting back on the court, running up and down. I, I think both of their conditioning really, you know, we probably pushed Luke a little much tonight, but, you know, get him some experience when we have a chance to see what he can do. He, he's not going to – the thing with Luke is kind of like Harkness, Harkness, he doesn't overdo things and just do what he can do. Uh, some of our other guys just try to do too much 
and they're not patient enough and they don't play with a good pace. And that's, that's where we're going to have to get better. Thank you, coach. Next question to Greg Palmero. Uh, coach, uh, hi. Uh, you kind of mentioned it with Luke, but what else do you need to to see from him and, and the practices that you've got before Saturday? And then, yeah. you know, in in an, any other year, would would this be a red shirt situation? Yeah, I said that the other day. I would have pulled him on a red shirt uh, at this time with these number of games left without practice and all that. But you know, what the heck? Uh, you know, we got with the situation and the guys out, you know, get him some minutes, get, see what he can do. And, and as I said, I, I know he's smart. He knows how to play. Uh, hopefully this experience is going to help him in the long run. Um, and, and, and it eased the pressure or maybe on some other guys too. If we can, I thought when we ran some good offense and got some curls, and got some motion, um, and read their switching, uh, you know, we had some good possessions, but then other possessions really got bogged up. And um, then we have, we don't have anybody right now that can just go make a play, not for themselves as much, but just make a play, get in the paint, make a play for somebody else. And, uh, you know, it's not because they're not trying, but we just probably don't have that. I, Selvin can do it at times. Um, you know, days one probably over. You know, both of them probably overdo it at times. But uh, we got to have somebody that can. You get to that shot clock that's going to make the right play and help us. 